in this session, we're going to understand how to configure and connect Business Central with Power Virtual Agents, also known as PVA. This also includes the integration or integrated experience with Microsoft Teams and Power Automate to feed data from a virtual agent into Business Central. In this scenario, I'm going to show you the demonstration first to show you what the end result looks like. And then we'll go ahead and connect that experience. So we'll build our bot. And you can either do that in the native application of Power Virtual Agent or inside of Microsoft Teams. In this scenario, I'm just going to demonstrate this in Teams. We'll create the flow in Power Automate. We'll connect the flow. We're going to add an action to enable us to then push data back into Business Central. And then we'll publish the bot for other team members in the organization to leverage. So again, I'm going to begin with the demonstration. And imagine this scenario. It could be a customer onboarding experience, or it could be a new vendor that we're going to add into the application. And obviously, anyone can go in, assuming they have the license and the uh, credentials, to add a new vendor. But imagine the scenario where I'm in my Microsoft Teams, I'm doing other work, and I just got word of via email or a phone call or a text that we have a new vendor we want to add. So again, instead of minimizing the work that I'm doing, I have to go open up Business Central, log in, and obviously go and add a new customer or a new vendor. I'm going to take advantage of some technologies to streamline that process. So here you see on the screen, uh, I've got the bot ready to go, and it says connect with Business Central. And I'm going to type in the uh, term, I need to add data to Business Central or to BC. And then I hit send to the bot. I'm presented with options. Do I want to add a new vendor, new product? Again, I could also have a variety of, of other selections, maybe new customer. I'll just use the new vendor. And then based on that response, the agent, the virtual agent, says, hey, Craig, what is the new vendor's name? So I'll call it Fourth Coffee. Well, who's the primary contact? It's Michael Smith. What is the new vendor's address? I put in the address. What is the city? San Diego. Well, since I know it's San Diego, what is the state? So I put in California. And then did that answer my question, yes or no? So once I'm done, I'll minimize that Power Virtual Agent, that experience I had in the dialogue. And then if I open up Business Central, you'll see here as I go over to navigate to vendors that I've added fourth coffee. And now you can see all of the information captured in that conversation while inside of Microsoft Teams has flowed into Business Central. So now that you have a, a good understanding of the scenario, let's go ahead and, and design that in your demonstration environment. So let's go ahead and build our bot. First thing you do, again, you could do this natively inside of Power Virtual Agents. I happen to be just doing this inside of Teams. So if you go into the apps here in the bottom left, you could search on Power Virtual Agents. From here, you'll hit Start Now and then choose which team you're going to go ahead and invoke that uh, bot or virtual agent. You'll name the bot, so I called it again, connect with Business Central, and then I'll select create. Now this takes a, a moment or two for it to create, and now I've got my palette, if you will. I've got the agent ready to go. I'm going to begin by creating topics, and that was how I started the demonstration. You'll see that you have several uh, topics to begin with that are part of the sample that database you get with Power Virtual Agents. I'm going to create a new topic. And remember, I called it, um, I want to add new data to Business Central. Now, again, what happens here is you'll just create a number of different trigger phrases, something that will invoke or wake up the bot, that virtual agent, so that it knows that you're going to do something or that's the dialogue it's about to have with you. So again, I created add data to Business Central, add data to BC, uh, maybe add new inventory, add new customers, new vendors. 
And then when I'm done, I'll close out those trigger phrases and I can minimize the test just to give us a little more real estate. So I'm gonna begin now with, first of all, removing this message here and I'll hit save my bot. So I've got my trigger phrases and next I will insert a question. So again, you can see the number of choices that you can insert. The first thing is I'm gonna ask a question. So in this case here, remember, um, I had a personalization. It said, you know, what's the display name? It, it recognized me and my active credentials inside of Teams. And it said, hey, Craig, how can I make your day easier? Do you need to add a vendor or product? And then with multiple options, I'm gonna capture those here inside of the options for users. So I'll select new option. And again, I gave that recipient or receiver, new vendor or product. Again, I could add additional ones here to branch off. If I scroll down, you'll see here, remember it said, do you want to add a new vendor or a new product? Then you'll hit insert. And I'll ask the question that if it's a new vendor, the question will be, what is the vendor's name? And if I expand on these multiple choice options, instead of doing the multiple choice, I'm gonna capture the user's response. So I'll select on user response. And then you'll wanna edit the response as, because I'm gonna use this uh, throughout the setup and configuration. So hit the pencil or the edit icon. And over on the right side, change var one to vendor name. And then insert again. And I'll ask the next question, you know, what was the primary contact of that vendor? Again, I'm gonna capture the user's response because I'm gonna use that. And yet again, with this properties column on the right side still open, you'll just type in vendor contact. So go ahead and you could do the same for adding address, city and state. Once you're done, Hit the plus sign again to here. You can see at the end, I've got my state. And then I'm gonna head and end the conversation. And so you typically will end that with a survey. Again, depending on the configuration, if you wanna convert that over to an agent, uh, as many of us see in our uh, experiences with working with virtual agents, we can transfer that to a live person at any time. But again, that's kinda of out of scope of this configuration. Next, go ahead and save that. Again, you can see here, I've got the name Connect with Business Central. And now I have basically built a bot. Next, I need to connect that to Business Central. So I'll begin with creating a flow or in Power Automate. So if you come back into your Power Virtual Agent and in between the last question and your end, if you grab your cursor and you get that little plus sign, and now you wanna do is you wanna call an action. When you call an action, you'll see the fly out here. Right now I only have one, it's called create a flow. I haven't connected any yet. And then it'll open up embeddedly the, the natural options for you. And we're gonna choose Power Virtual Agents template. So selecting that template, I'm gonna edit the name. In this case here, that flow will be called create data via the Business Central bot. Then I'll add an input. And so this will be a text. And what the text will be are the, the responses that we captured earlier. So again, vendor name, and then vendor contact, vendor address, vendor city and state. And then you'll save those options and close that out. So again, all the information that we were capturing in that dialogue. Next, now that I've created that, I need to connect the flow. So you'll go back into your Power Virtual Agent and kind of wire up that flow. So again, last question, you'll hit the plus sign. This time, when you select call an action, you'll notice the flow that you created is now available in the list. So we're gonna create the data via the Business Central bot. And now all I need to do from the drop-down menus are to appropriately assign what that value is to the text. So for example, for vendor name, remember we renamed that var1 to vendor name. So you'll do the same 
for all of the areas of input. So contact, address, city, and state. Save your work, and then you're done with wiring that up. The last step before we publish is just to add the action so that we can write that data back into Business Central. So let's go ahead and add an action again. That creates the record inside of Business Central. So from the flow, again, I'm inside of Power Virtual Agents, inside of Teams, I'm gonna click on the details. And so from there, you can edit the flow. And now that I've got this box already open, just below it, you'll hit the insert or plus sign, and you'll add an action. Now on the action, you're gonna go ahead and search for Business Central. Choose this Business Central here. It'll be your first, uh, you're looking for the V3, that's the most recent uh, connection or API. It's called Create the Record, because we want to take the information that we captured in that conversation between the end user and the virtual agent, and we wanna create a record inside of Business Central. So again, make sure you select Create Record V3. Obviously, you can see a number of other options available depending on the tasks that you're looking to achieve. Select Create Record. And now from here, just like we'll have to do in any other connectivity within Power Automate, we're gonna go ahead and select the company name, the environment name, in this case, production, I'm choosing the Kronos USA Inc., my sample company, and then your API category would be V2.0. The last step is to select the table with which you wanna connect. So once the dropdown is, you'll notice since we're using vendors, and then I'm gonna add the dynamic content. So what that does is all the uh, areas that we capture that agent, are now gonna be available here in my dynamic content. So choose vendor name. Under display name, we'll put vendor address for address one, city and state. You'll select save, and then you're done. You can close that out. Your last step is to publish the bot. So let's go ahead and publish that bot. So here I am inside of Teams. Again, I've got this Power Virtual Agent inside of it. And on the left-hand side is the opportunity to publish. You'll make this bot available to others inside of the organization. Now remember to go inside and edit the details. What this will do is make sure that other users can add that bot to their team's experience. So I'll allow that and say yes, save those changes and close out. And then publish to Teams. And when I hit publish, you can see when I open the bot, the user will be prompted to add that to their Microsoft Teams experience. And this is how we began the demonstration with the bot and the dialogue. So again, just to give you an idea, we looked at how to demonstrate or what the end result would look like. We designed the bot. You can certainly do that inside of the native experience of Power Virtual Agent or within Teams, created the flow, connected it, added the action, and then we published the bot.